Today I want to talk to you guys about this little piece of equipment. A lot of people have been asking me questions about the greenhouse blower system where you have two layers of poly together and you force air between them. So today I'll just give you guys a tour of how it all works and why it's important. The whole reason to have two layers of poly on a greenhouse is to create an insulation buffer of oxygen or air between it and you do that with that blower mechanism that forces air between them so it's a fan that runs 24 7 seven days a week barely consumes much power at all it's probably the same amount of power as a light bulb but it gives you an r5 insulation factor so it's very cheap and effective and it's what a lot of growers do on this greenhouse here we're going to be doing the same thing though it's not the blower is not running yet but it is running on this one so I'll show you this one and it'll essentially be the same thing for here so the whole idea with the system is that this like I said this fan is is blowing 24 7 and this is the part it's on the inside and I'll show you in a minute but this is blowing air right now and it's keeping this kind of tight and you can see above it's the same thing so the reason we went with this blower is because it was a far cheaper way to get the effect of that r5 insulation value than it was going to be do poly to put polycarbonate this greenhouse was originally engineered, designed to have a half inch layer of polycarbonate all the way around. But we, like many projects, we went over budget. And uh, when it was time to order the polycarbonate, I was looking at the budget and saying, you know what, forget it. Because it was going to cost $8,000 altogether. So I've, I've known about the blower before. I've done it before on previous operations I've worked for, worked on. And uh, I figured, you know, it's a cheaper and effective way to do it. So altogether, instead of $8,000 to do this, we spent 300. That was to buy two layers of poly and the blower mechanism. So this is how it works. I've got it wired up to the electrical. I've got its own switch so that if I need to turn it off, I can just turn it off really easily. And it's just running constantly, so it's just, tuck taped into the one layer of poly and it's just consistently blowing air. And that gives us that nice insulation effect. The beautiful thing of it is, is that during the winter months, when it's really cold outside, and it's getting there now, but it's not that cold, you can touch this, it could be like minus 20 degrees Celsius outside, you can touch this and it's warm and it doesn't have, the condensation isn't on the inside. It's actually between the layers, there's condensation, but it usually just works its way down and runs out the bottom and kind of drips through the channel lock. I've also put little holes here and there in the plastic just to drain it out. And we've also got an exhaust. So since the fan is running 24 seven, we have an exhaust here where we've just cut into one of the layers of poly and it's blowing out. And we've also, on this greenhouse, had to bridge the one poly to the next because there's essentially a fold in our poly with this one post here. We've got to um, bridge the air from one to the next. And so I've done that just by cutting in this little, um, just more of this piping, which is just stuff that you'd use for your laundry dryer or something like that. So I've done it in two places there and over here. So anytime you have a, a seam or a crease in your poly or you've got separate parts of channel lock, you have to bridge it together with another pipe. And so you just cut into the plastic and you know, the fact that there's leaks in it, it doesn't matter because the air is constantly blowing. You can see here. It's just constantly running. That little thing hanging there is nothing. Just ignore that. But um, that's the idea. So you'll notice there's some condensation in here right now. This is because I had to turn this, I turned the blower off for a day yesterday to um, readjust the channel lock down below because I'm installing a gutter down there. And so uh, that's why you've seen some, you see some condensation building up which will it'll eventually work itself out so these units are usually worth around 200 dollars, and it's just a simple electric fan 
The details on it are, it's 115 volts and it has 0.65 amps. And it just, it just runs 24 seven. You just rig it up wherever, close to your plastic, just like I showed you there, and it just, it just blows constantly. So when we go to set it up in this greenhouse, in the new one, I've got areas where I'm gonna need to bridge, just like you saw in there, one poly to the next because I've got channel locks separating certain areas. So I've got a channel lock here and then a channel lock down there. So in, in order to get the air from here to here, I'll have to just cut in a pipe just like you saw on the other one on the inside. I'll also have to do that on the end walls. It's the same thing. So I'll have a number of, of, of that, uh, a number of pipes in this greenhouse, you know, one from the top to the sides and then one on the end wall. So I'll probably have five or six of them in here, but that'll just bring it all together and keep the air flowing. So here I'm putting, this is where I'm putting the electrical for this greenhouse and I'll just mount the blower somewhere around here, have a little pipe that just goes into the plastic and that's it, it's really quite simple, but it's super effective for insulation. So I hope you guys have found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button right now. Please like and share these videos with your friends. And check out my website, theurbanfarmer.co, where you've got links to my one-day workshop, my online course, and my book. And you can also make a donation to the show there. If you're much, it's much appreciated and always welcome. So you can do that specifically at theurbanfarmer.co slash support. All right, thanks for watching.